Greetings everyone, this is Ostrif and I am the Beard. And welcome to my little guide on how to get some basic things done in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. And today we're going to be focused on focusing on trading and trade posts. Uh, these are just some basic tips, some basic things that I've picked up throughout playing the game. And as you can see, uh, we have quite the expansive village uh, that is backing this little up here, which is how we're able to do this. If you'd like to see how we get to this spot, please have a look around the channel. There's a Let's Play series that we've been going through. You can see how we got to this beautiful village of almost 250 people. But let's focus on trading. So what do you do once you get your trading post? Well, here's your trading post. Let's click on it. Um, once you get your trading post up, the first thing to do is actually to hire a manager. Because without a manager, you cannot do many things that are make trading posts useful. So let's hire a manager first. Let's do that. Uh, so we've hired our manager. Then the next thing to have a look at is our world map. So here's the world map. There are four towns. One, two, three, four that you can trade with. These towns will either buy or sell goods to you. You are here. This town here, Panichu, and I know I'm not pronouncing that right, excuse me, but it is uh, how I think you pronounce it, is only tradable via river, and you need a river trading dock in order to trade with them. That is a new building in the game, I will show you that just now. These three, however, can be traded with by road. In order to trade with them, you need to either wait for a messenger from them to come and visit you, uh, or you can send a messenger to them. Ah, look at that. Fortuitously, we have just had a messenger from Murpha come to visit us. So if I click here, I can see what Murpha is offering to sell us and what they would like to buy from us. Right? Okay. In order to make sure that you have things to sell them, you need to stock. Right? So let's have a look now. I'm going to pause the game quickly. And this is how you stock things. You click on these buttons here. And I'm going to now tell you the four things that I think are great things to stock in your trading post as a beginner or as a starter city, if that makes sense. So the first thing that I would recommend to stock is going to be uh, sunflower oil. And I'll explain why just now, why all of these things are very good things to stock. Then I would stock potatoes. Then I would stock charcoal. And that is what I would stock in this trading post. Then, as I mentioned, you do get river trading posts, which is this building right over here. Look at it. It's pretty sexy. It's a new building in the game. It is a trading post on the river. Same functionality. Ooh, so just unhire these. Same functionality. Let's hire a manager. And let's, over here, stock flower. Ooh, flower. There it is. Right. So that is how you... That is, that is my recommendation. Flower over here, and uh, in this trading post, in your normal trading post, you stock sunflower oil, potatoes, and charcoal. Right, so let's talk about each. So we've selected which ones we want to stock, now we want to decide how much we want to stock. So in this trading post, uh, let's stock 2,000 sunflower oil. Now, sunflower oil is a very interesting uh, item to trade with. It is incredibly useful to stock it in all trading posts. In fact, I would stock this in your river trading post as well, because every single town on this world map is always going to want sunflower oil. Um, to trade. They're always going to demand sunflower oil, right? Uh, they are also, so for example, Murphy here always loves sunflower oil. They really like sunflower oil. So they want 3,000. So in fact, it's, we're going to trade 2,000 for them. Potatoes, we're going to, let's say, uh, 500. Let's stock 500 in here. And charcoal, charcoal is really, really, really easy to produce. It's just chopping down trees and burning it, and it's quite cheap. So let's put, uh, 5,000 in here, right? Potatoes, just a word of warning on potatoes. Potatoes is a basic food source, and although it's a tradable item, it isn't value that valuable, and often you want to try and keep some potatoes for your population, so just be careful with potatoes, but it is a very good trade item if you are in need to, to make some money, some cash. Then uh, over here at the trading dock, let's also put in 500 flour. Again, 
flour is a food stuff, um, it is also a processed food stuff, you actually have to grow wheat, then put it through a windmill in order to make flour, so it's very uh, valuable, um, but it also is something that you can use to feed your population, so just be careful with that. Same thing with sunflower oil, hey? Sunflower oil, also very processed uh, food stuff, but also very valuable. Right, so now we've stocked our trading posts, now let's hire some workers so that the workers can go out and gather all these things and uh, and, and, and stock it up. Let's make sure that uh, we've hired the workers for our uh, trading dock on the water as well. Um, and then let's press play. Um, and all the workers should toddle off and fill up, uh, stock our trading post uh, with these various items. So you can see the sunflower oil coming in, uh, the potatoes coming in, charcoal will start coming in soon and over here you can start seeing the flower coming in right so now while our workers are all off gathering these things and stocking let's go to the world map and let's see murphy is still is still with us so let's see what we can sell them we want to sell them some sunflower oil so they want to buy three thousand we have four thousand in stock we've only got six hundred in stock now but we know we're going to get to about two thousand because we put two thousand in here so let's sell 2,000 sunflowers to them, uh, it's 2,000 sunflower oil, it's going to be 18 per unit, which in total sale is going to give us 360, which I think is a deal, so off we go, and we're going to trade with them, and their wagons are going to now come, it takes 19 days for their wagons to come here, and we are exporting then some sunflower oil, we're exporting them 2,000 units, and we are going to earn 360 off it, we haven't earned any yet, right, now, let's send messengers to Bailika, and a messenger to Dirakshi too, and we'll send a messenger via river to Petunia as well. So we've sent messengers off to those guys because we want to try and trade with them too. Um, now I'm going to speed up the game now, uh, and I'll join you once all of these messengers have met there, or just until the first messenger reaches it. Look at that, first messenger has just reached Petunia, so we don't have a problem, and there he is. So, Petunia, there we go. We are going to trade some flour. This is why they always like flour, so we're going to trade flour with them. And that's 500 flour with you. Um, Baleka, you like, uh, and I'm going to slow the game down here. Baleka, you always, 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 always want potatoes. They're always going to like potatoes, so let's try and we trade 500 potatoes with you. And off come their carts to come and collect. And you can see Petunia sent a boat. Uh, via the river and we're just gonna wait for Dirachi to get to us just now and I'll show you why Dirachi is the ace up the sleeve in my opinion um, Let's zoom out here because we want to see uh, I want to show you what happens when the uh, when the uh, The traders arrive so if you go to the world map everyone's streaming in so uh, Over here carts will come in here comes the boat look at that. That's lovely and sexy this boat coming in through here uh, that's for the trade dock uh, over there, and if we have a look out over the horizon here, we should see sooner rather than later, there it is, a cart coming in to trade from Murphy, right? And we've got another trade, another, oh, look at this, oh, we've got our, and our, our notification for our, uh, our messenger arriving at Dirachi has popped up here. So there goes the boats coming in to trade, this is the new new building in the in the game everyone look at that very cool um and there is the cart in our or the wagon loading up everything um in our this trading dock here and let's go to Dirachi, which is the ace in the sleeve and they are always going to want charcoal and like i said charcoal is easy to produce and they've got they want six thousand it normally goes up to about eight thousand actually but we're gonna go to five thousand and although it's not very uh uh, not worth very much it's still a quite a nice little sun when done in bulk like this which is the nice little ace at the sleeve and there you go there comes the cart to fetch the charcoal and we've done a very good little trade so that everyone is my little guide to trading some little tips i hope you learned something um, please uh, leave a comment below if you enjoyed this um, and a like and subscribe um, and if there are any questions yeah Leave it below and I shall get back to you. Um, I'll see you again soon. Um, and if you really enjoy this and want to see how this big town got to like this size, go and check out that Let's Play series. I'll see you all soon. I'm The Beard, signing out.